upside down Pilates. Today we are going to work with the active motion bar and do a level two upside down Pilates active motion bar workout. And with us is Derek Mikulski, the man who invented it and created it. So I wanted him to give us a little bit of background about why he decided to create the active motion bar. Take it away. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. So thank you. I love Hawaii so far and I've only been here for a few hours. But uh, uh, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm Derek, as Lisa mentioned, I'm the founder of Active Motion Bar. I'm from Detroit suburbs, so mainland. Uh, United States, just outside of Detroit is where I'm from. Um, yeah, and I invented the active motion bar. Uh, it would be in 2012 when I actually invented it. And it was out of my garage. So whenever I tell the story, I like to tell it with like the Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, Apple-esque, <laughs> like inspirational type of story because that's how it was. It was just, I was trying to solve a problem. I went and, and I built uh, various versions of the product and then uh, out of passion, hard work, it just stemmed into what it is today. But, uh, but so the reason why I created it, which I think is really helpful for people to know, is um, I worked at the time as a fitness professional with lots of older individuals. And I'm sure you've heard of products like a BOSU ball before, some unstable platforms. And I found that those products um, were oftentimes dangerous and unsafe for people or they were just scared or hesitant to stand on something that created that instability. So the, the essence of the idea was for me to put instability in someone's hands in a very safe and functional way. And so I messed around with filling tubes with water and sand and all these different materials and landed on, uh, there are ball bearings that shift inside the bar. They look like marbles and that's what's inside. So each bar is filled about halfway with ball bearings and that's what creates the instability when you're lifting it, moving it through space and creating all these cool balance and core muscle activation challenges. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I have the honor of torturing Derek today. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's okay. Yeah. We're going to start with some breathing seated and we're going to actually use the fabulous active motion bar as a way to line up your spine to okay. start. All right. Great. So I'm going to have you, let's face this way and I'll come back behind you over here. And you can bend your knees and just go ahead and sit as tall as you can on your sits bones. And then try and bring your head all the way up back nice and tall. And I like to say you have imaginary Spock ears on reaching up to the sky. Excellent. How does that feel? Good. It feels uh, tall and yes. wide. Yes. Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's just take a few breaths. You're going to inhale through your nose and then you'll exhale through your mouth, hollowing your belly button up and in. And as you do that, shoot your energy up to the sky and get taller, taller, taller. And I'll cue you through that. Okay. Here we go. Nice big inhale and then nice big exhale. Good. And again, nice big inhale and exhale. And again, nice big inhale and exhale. Two more times. Big breath in and big breath out. Good. One more time. Inhale and breath out. Fabulous. Now we're all tall and ready to move and do a little bit of pelvic shifting. So I'm gonna have you lay onto your back here. And uh, we're gonna go into neutral pelvis. So you'll have a little arch in the lower back and I want you to take the bar and put it on your hip bones. And for this one, we may have to have your hands outside a little bit and you can see what you like. If you like your uh, overhand or underhand, we're gonna try and shift the bar with your pelvis and just have your hands there so that the, ball, the bar doesn't go rolling off from Got you. Got it, okay. Okay? Yep. So, and you're also gonna do your best to keep the knees still and shining up to the sky. Okay. That is much easier said than done. Okay. So good luck with that. <laughs> All right, so let's give it a go and you're gonna shift the balls over to the right so your right hip will go down. Nice. And then you can shift the balls left and the left hip will go down. Excellent. And again, shift it over right and left. And my hands are just kind of holding the bar in place, right? Yep. They're just kind of hanging on there so that it doesn't come rolling onto you. And you're okay. trying to make that movement happen as much as you possibly can with the pelvis. Okay. 
it and left. And just do, I don't know, a couple more times, right? Cool. All right, let's go back center now. And now we're going to do hip rolls. So you're gonna try and roll through your spine, okay. but this time you're attempting to keep the balls from shifting right and left, okay? okay? As much as possible. It will shift a little tiny bit, but your goal is to keep it. So big breath. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna rock your pelvis so your lower back goes towards the ground, and then you're gonna slowly roll your pelvis up to the sky, and you can keep going all the way up so that your knees, your hips, and your shoulders are in one long line. Yeah, so roll up. Good, and then take a breath, and you're gonna roll down. And as you go, try and get right at your upper back so that the ribs come together, and then go little bit by little bit, like you're dropping your vertebrae into the sand. Perfect, and then go back to where you started. Yeah, and go again, inhale, and then you can breathe out on the way up if you like. Good, inhale, and then breathe out on the way down. Good, let's go again, deep breath, and breathe out on the way up. Deep breath, and on the way down. This time on the way up, See if you can even articulate through your vertebrae more on the way up. So roll, bring the low back down, and then as you go, you're going to see if you can feel the mat and close the ribs on the way up even more. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little different, yeah? Definitely. Good. Deep breath, and then you're going to roll down. Yes. <laughs> Keep it stable. Exactly. Good, do about two more okay. and just go at your own timing and then this is where you definitely can start to feel if the balls are going right to left. And then sometimes you have to squeeze one glute more than the other to keep it balanced. Nice. And then roll down. Yes, perfect. Last time, deep breath and you're gonna roll up. And you can feel like you pull your hips away from your shoulders as well. Deep breath. And now you're going to roll down. Wow, it's silent over here. <laughs> I've practiced. Really? <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. Okay, now what I want to do is you're going to roll up, get to that top point, and we're actually going to then stay up there and roll the balls right to left and okay. try and keep your pelvis up to the sky. Okay. okay? Am, I, am I shifting with my hands or through the activation of my posterior, my, my glutes? With your pelvis, so with okay. your glutes and your hamstrings and then your lumbar multifity and your abs are also gonna be Got helping it. you do that. Okay. But um, the hands are at this point, again, just there to make sure that the balls don't flying off. You're okay. trying to let the pelvis steer the direction as much as you can. Great. Okay, big breath. And now you're gonna go to imprint and roll up. Yep. Now. See if you can lower the right hip and let the balls roll right. And as you do that, you gotta push the left hip up. Perfect. And then you're gonna go the other side. Nice. And again, you can roll right and you can breathe however you like for this. Just okay. breathing gently is fine, or if you some people really like to use the exhale as they shift. And again, we're gonna do about 10 of these. This is your third round. I will keep count. Okay, are we feeling comfortable with this in the pelvis? Yes. Okay, can I add something even more exciting sure, for you? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Press the ball of your big toes down. Oh my. Now keep the ball of your big toes down as you go. And this may bring some more excitement into Definitely. your legs as well. Definitely more hamstrings. Yep. How's my tempo? This is perfect. I like to go with the tempo of when the balls hit and then let that be the initiation for when they go to the other side. But I think everyone does a little bit different and that's fine. Okay. Whatever feels good. Let's do about three more rounds. Go right and left and right and left. And for me about this point, my hamstrings and glutes are dying, yeah, right? It's definitely difficult, yeah. And left. I can't imagine it with an 18-pound bar. Yeah. I'll stick with the four and a half pound banks. <laughs> and 
left. Good, bring it back center, try and stabilize it, and then you're gonna roll down through your spine like we did before. Good. Excellent! All right, any questions, comments, concerns about that one? No, that was great. I think only, um, I can see some people maybe wanting to use their hands yes. quite a bit during that one, but uh, but I think your cueing was really good with, with uh, working from the, the lower half. So yeah, the other grip that sometimes if people start, because they do hold on and then start yeah. moving their arms, is I'll flip the palms up and then actually have them go all oh, the way to the ends. I guess, yeah. And then that way, you can just kind of delicately hold it yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and some of my clients actually just like to put their thumbs up underneath it too, okay. and then gauge it wherever they need it to try and make it equidistance from the white marks. Okay. So those are other things to do or other grips yep. um, that we've used. So, Great. excellent. Awesome. Okay, let's move up and warm up your shoulders now. Okay. okay. Actually, you can stay lying down. Do you okay. want to, are you okay with your lay? Yeah. All right. Leave it on. Perfect. Go ahead, lie down, okay. and now you can either whichever you want to do, you can do overhand grip or underhand grip. Okay, I'll go and with we're the this time. okay. And this one, you can line it up with the uh, white marks, okay. if you like. Yep. And then you're going to bring the bar up, and we'll do scapula isolation okay. by a unilateral. Okay. So all you're going to do is push your scapula to the sky, separate your shoulder blades, and then pull the shoulder blades back down. And I'm going to move over here. Good. And go ahead, push the shoulder blades to the sky. And we're doing it right now, and our goal is to keep our marbles quiet. Yes. My favorite saying is don't lose your marbles. <laughs> push it forward. And back. Two more of these. Forward. And you can breathe as you like right now. And back. Good. And we'll do one more. Forward. Now go in the middle, and if you're okay, we can leave your arms up there, and you're gonna do unilateral. So you push the right one up and let the balls go left, okay. and then push the left one up and let the balls go right. So go for it. Whichever side you wanna start, push the right up. Good, and then you're gonna change. Push the left up. Nice. And we'll do 10 sets of this, and go at whatever tempo feels good for you. Good, and I like how you're really paying attention to pulling back and controlling on the way back. That gives some nice support in your back and also in your pecs. And other side. Good. And left. Good, oh, you're starting to do my client's favorite thing. What's that? Bend your elbows. Oh, no. <laughs> It's I can the feel left. My, my chest getting uh, pretty oh, a little workout. Activated. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's do about three more sets of these. So that's the most common kind of uh, sign of fatigue you'll see, and during this one is the flexion in the elbows. Sometimes the elbows will start to bend. Yeah. Shoulders start to go up to the ears, or the bar just they put it down and say we're done. <laughs> one of those things. Yeah. There you go. Did you catch yourself? Yes, I, did, I saw yeah. it. He's cheating. <laughs> One more, please. Go right, arm up, and then left. Good. Okay, go ahead, put the bar down for a sec. Now we're going to do, I call them goal posts, and we can do the grip overhand or underhand. Uh, the underhand grip gives a little bit more stretch in your wrists when you bring it overhead, so sometimes that can be quite miserable, so don't yeah. do it if it's going to kill you. Okay. Um, but the overhand grip is also fabulous, so okay. we do both depending on the person. You're going to bring your arms up overhead, and you're going to actually bring one arm down okay. and then center, and then the other arm down and center. Or we can just do reciprocal right and back. Okay. okay. Is it staying over my chest or more back? It's going to be over, and you're going to bring it as far as you can keep your abs contained. Okay. And let's do it in neutral, though. So do your little arch in your back, and then you're going to draw those ribs down and together. Yes. All right. Now, you're going to try and let the uh, balls go to the right. So, or, uh, yep. And then go to the other side. And you see what I mean about the stretch in your wrist? So if it gets to be uncomfortable, I want to do about 10 of these, okay. but if it gets to be uncomfortable, halfway through, flip your gris, okay. grip or whatever. Good. So a lot of times with clients, they'll start going side to side. Yep. And yep. for this one, we're 
it's kind of like your little corkscrew. Okay. Yeah. Good. Four, and then it gets that cross-lateral connection as it hits overhead. Yeah. Feel some little tightness Five. in my biceps, so I'll switch my, Perfect. my hands. Yep. Nice. And then you can do the breathing, same thing. Give yourself a little exhale as you go, or just breathe gently. For these, sometimes having a strong breath pattern is it's a little too much. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to drop your ribs just yep. a little more. They're starting to say hello. <laughs> Good, two more. Right, yes, and the lower you go, the more fun it gets. You're gonna grab an 18 pound bar and do this for me. <laughs> I don't know about that, that would be really good. Right. Fun, it would yeah, be fun, fun. Yeah. something to work up to. Nice, okay, go back center and then go ahead and bring it all the way up. Good, how are we doing, are arms Great. okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. right, so the next thing I wanna try is um, toe taps with goal posts. So what's gonna happen is you'll bring your legs up to what we call tabletop, so okay. knees and then feet out at 90 degrees. Yep. You're gonna to try to not let the balls shift, okay. but you'll bring the arms up overhead as you dip one toe down, okay. and then everybody comes back up towards the sky, okay. and then the other toe. Yep. We'll try five rounds of that, okay. and if that's going well, then we'll try both legs at the same time. Great. Okay. I want you to try to keep your low back towards the ground so the abs are up and in, yep. and don't let those legs go any further, then you can keep your low back down. Okay. He already knows that, but I'm saying that for you. Okay. <laughs> Deep breath, and now breathe out, and you can bring your arms up, and then one toe can reach down, and then come back up. Good, and keep the 90 degree angle. It'll be a little easier. We don't wanna kill the people at home today. Down, and up. Good, I'm gonna guide you here. So we're gonna try to keep the 90 degree angle of your knee. Good, and then go down. Yes, perfect. And see, it's a little bit easier yes. that way. You went, you went advanced on me. <laughs> and down, which is a fabulous way to do it. And up. Good. Feeling okay? Yes. Good. Three. And up. And I like to exhale on the way down, but you can inhale or exhale, whatever you like. Three. And up. Good. We'll do two more, please. Four. Good, one more. Five, and five. Feeling okay? Yes. Wanna try both? Sure. All right. Yep, and put your grip however you need it. Okay. And Hollow now, those abs up and in. Knees stay flexed again. And yeah, so we're gonna keep okay. it, so it's kind of like you're, you got a little 90 degree angle, yep. and you're keeping the knee where it is, but you're moving at your hip joint, so yep. then we're emphasizing that but not letting the legs so go, go so far that it challenges your abs too much. Okay. Great. okay, bring them up, arms are up, and now here we go, both legs at the same time, and then draw them back up when you're ready, nice. And you can again inhale or exhale on either part, whichever feels best for you. We're going for five here, two. Okay, now I'm gonna staple your ribs together. Keep them together, 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 three. Yes. Two more, please. Four. He's smiling, I can see it. <laughs> One more. He's like, what did I sign up for? Five. And bring it up. Good, go ahead and lower down. Do we survive? Yes, it's great. Excellent. It's really good, really good. yeah. All right, let us get that layoff from you. So as we start to move, around we don't choke you okay all right I'm gonna go over here and you can bring your bar up over your shoulders and then you can go ahead and bring your legs back up to tabletop good so now we're going to do a little uh, tick tock with our lower body and then upper body oblique rotation so let's do the first set yeah try to get your knees together as much as you can okay. and uh, for the first set, you're gonna try and keep the bar as still as you can. The uh, balls will probably roll a little bit right to left, but your goal is still. Okay. You're gonna try and keep your knees level and then twist your knees to one side by initiating with that opposite oblique. Good. 
and then back center. It's tricky, yes? It is, yeah. And then other side. You really have to kind of disassociate, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We'll do five sets of these. And good. And bring it right. Good, right? Yes, I know. And so if it starts to go too much, you can hear it move a little bit. Left. Two more of these. Right. And left. One more set. Right. And left. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to get out of your way and you're going to Fold forward and rotate the opposite direction with your upper body. So go ahead. You're going to tick tock left and then upper body can go right. And then you can either stay up or lower your head down, whatever feels best for you. Okay, so either stay here or here the whole? Mm, so you can either, like, as you twist, oh, I fold see. forward okay. and yep. then back. Yep. And that would be a lower level, yeah. And then back and then lower down. And then the more exciting way to do it would to stay up stay the here. whole time. Okay. Yes. Right. Whichever you're feeling like doing is fabulous. Left. Let's do three more rounds here. Right. Left. Two more. Right. Left. One more. Are we doing okay? Right. And perfect. Lower down. Nice. I love doing that right before roll ups. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on up. We're going to do five roll ups. So okay. let's actually start seated to get organized. So you can just come on up, separate your legs about hips distance. And I'm going to go over here because we're going to do goal posts overhead okay. and then up. So for this set, you're going to try your best to keep the balls quiet, okay. okay? So, and I'll cue your breath for this one. So big inhale, exhale, you're gonna hollow, roll down, and go bone by bone by bone by bone. Nice, and he's keeping his knees nice and still, I love it. And now you're gonna bring the bar up overhead in goal posts, trying to keep the balls as still as they'll stay. And then you're gonna go arms to the sky. Nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and you can breathe out on the way up, hollowing those abs. Perfect. Four more of those. Inhale, exhale, roll it down. Good. Arms overhead. Inhale, arms to the sky, nod your chin, and then exhale, roll it up. Good. Down as we breathe out. Nice. Arms overhead. Arms to the sky. Nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and roll up. Two more. And roll it down. Good. Arms overhead. Arms to the sky, nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, hollow the abs out, and roll up. One more, roll it down. Nice and smooth and controlled. You've practiced these too. I have, yeah. So good. And roll up. Yes, after sitting on a plane. Yes. <laughs> best thing to do. Perfect. Right. And these were nice and quiet. Yeah. All right. So we're going to try a fun thing with your feet. Again, okay. I'm going to see if you can try keep the balls of your big toes down because okay. what that does is it helps to get that rotation in your foot and then you get a little bit of intrinsic feet muscles going on while we're doing everything else. Might as well since we're here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do the fancy rotation with the bar. Okay. okay? Yep. So reach the arms straight out in front and you're going to roll the balls right. So lower the right arm, lift the left, and then you're gonna roll down on the right side. And then you're gonna shift the bar through the center, roll it over to the left side, nod the chin, scoop the shoulders. Yep, and come up, and now you're gonna feel that the obliques work a little more. Then you're gonna shift the balls right, and then shift them back left. 
And roll down on the left. I'm still trying to make sure my toes stay. Why, yes, yeah. that would be a fabulous, Got fun it. idea. <laughs> 75 things at once. <laughs> Bring it right, nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and you can give yourself an exhale on the way up to help yourself out if you like. And then roll it left. Let's do it again. Roll the balls right, and roll down. And shift it over to the left, and roll up. We all have our favorite side, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and roll the balls right, and then come back left and down. Are they cramping? What's that? Are your feet cramping? Uh, no. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Sometimes when you do this, they will start to oh, cramp. Yep. Yep. And nod the chin, scoop, and come on up. Fabulous. That's plenty. Good. That's good. Oh. You passed that one. All right. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go su uh, prone, and okay. I'm going to let me show you how to get into this the way that I okay. figured out how to get into sure. it. Because sometimes getting into putting the bar on your legs is a little tricky. So, this is how I do it. I'll have you face this way. Okay. All right, you're going to take the bar, and then we'll slide it. And you can put your legs. A little bit apart and you want the bar on your ankles okay. and when you put it you're gonna try and make it wherever you can if you can get it wide enough to the marks that's perfect otherwise you're gonna try to do your best to make it equidistance from there okay. and then you walk yourself on down oof, oof, oof. and then hands at the forehead shoulders down abs are in and we're gonna lift the bar and what we're gonna do is roll the ball side to side oh, great it will be a good time yeah and then when you come up, I'm going to have you grab it and then we'll put it in your hands and we'll do the same thing side to side overhead. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Sometimes it took me a while to figure out how to get into that most easily yeah, and gracefully. I think that was good though. And sometimes that's the hardest thing. All right. So shimmy back a tiny bit, I think, because you're tall, much taller than me. All right. And I will let you give it a go to try and line it up yourself. white lines as kind of references, huh? Yeah, perfect. So it depends on how wide you can go. So I just, I line it up just a little bit to the inside. Okay. Is where That's I go. Good for me. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, lie on down. And then if you have someone that you're working with that can help you out, I'm gonna pull it over right just a tiny bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Thanks. So Try when we lift, you want to keep your knees as straight as you can because okay. that's going to help so they don't go rolling. Okay. And I will help you if it starts to get crazy. Okay. All right, so first thing we're going to do is pull our belly button in, draw our shoulders down, squeeze our glutes and hamstrings, and then you're going to reach and lift the bar off. Perfect. And that's probably about as all you need to do. And now lower it to the right as you lift the left and then you're gonna lower the left leg and go right. So lower your legs a little bit. Woo! <laughs> so, Timber. yes, I'm gonna help you. Bring your legs down a little tiny bit, little bit, little bit, yeah. So they're just unweighted off, yes. And then that way you can keep it just behind your calf if possible. All right, shall we try again? Yep. All right, well that was fun, we went rolling there. Okay, roll it to one side, yes and then the other side. And should I have my forehead down or like a little bit in extension? Either way is fine. It's a little easier if you put your head all the way down on your forehead, but if that's uncomfortable, it's good for your uh, thoracic spine to <laughs> yeah. lift it up a little bit more. That's fine too. Good, roll it right. And yes. And the more you keep those knees straight, the more you get it up at the insertion of the hamstrings, yeah? Good, that was about three. We're gonna do about 10. Roll it right. We doing okay? Yeah, I was gonna say, this one's probably the most difficult so far. And <laughs> <For> left. <me. laughs> well, the next one is gonna be even more fun. Okay. At least for me, it's more fun. <laughs> and left. And right, perfect. And left. And let me know if you're dying, we can stop early. Okay, no, I feel okay. I'm gonna call this six, because I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> It's like the regular trainer, right? Yeah, exactly. Seven. You said six five times. <laughs> Eight. 
two more for fun. Nine, and you can do the same thing. Breathe gently or every time you shift, exhale. Good. All right, center All right. and lower it down. Good. good times, yes? Yeah, that's really good. All right, come up. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with the bar overhead. So okay. you're probably gonna wanna have your uh, the bar off the mat. Okay. So you can go ahead and lie down on your belly. So my, are my arms gonna be extended? Yeah, they're gonna be straight up. Okay. And here's again, I would, for the first time, I would do it palms down. Okay. And then if you want it more excitement, flip those palms up. Okay. I can barely get it off the ground with the <laughs> palms up. I'm sure you're going to be much more proficient than I am. So go ahead and reach the ball, uh, the bar all the way out overhead already. Good. Now, I'm gonna have you point your toes, if you can, separate your legs, and you can turn them out in lateral rotation. Okay. And drop your shoulders down your back as much as you can. And now we're gonna go lower the bar right and let the balls go right. And then you're gonna go left. Perfect. Fun, yes? Yeah. Two. Good. And left. Our goal is 10, 3, but we can stop early if we'd like to. 4, we're getting our tan, so we have to flip, you know. <laughs> 5, and so the whole time you're going, you're keeping your shoulders down the back. 6, and flatten your wrists a little if you can, so yeah. 7, because then that's a more neutral wrist alignment, if they'll stay there. 8. This is torture, believe it or not. Nine, one more if we can. 10. Perfect, rest, put that bar down, and I'm gonna just have you reach back into child's pose. Did you survive? Yeah, it's good, it's all good. Excellent. The sticks were in my way a little bit, but yes. people won't have to deal with that. Hopefully. No, they but won't. We can pop them down a little more. All right. Now, we are going to put a bar on your feet and okay. a bar on your hand, and we're going to do Pilates swimming with two bars. Oh boy. I know, <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> so, this is, this is fun for me and a lot of my students, and you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna use two of the four and a half pound bars, but I think that it would also be possible to use maybe a six pound and a four and a half pound for some okay. people or yeah. anywhere around there. Uh -huh. um, but we're just, it's what we're gonna do today. Okay. All right, yep. so you let's uh, leave that one there okay. and I'm gonna grab this one okay. and I'll let you organize it how you like it back there okay. and then shift back a little, yep. And I will cue you through. So this is a fabulous prone contralateral connection. Getting that crisscross across the back. We got it in the front, now we gotta do it okay. in the back. All right, hop down and then grab your bar and then bring it all the way up overhead when you're ready. And for this one, we wanna keep the head just off the ground. Okay, okay now we're gonna take our fabulous active motion bar and bring it up overhead, straight out and you're gonna lift those legs off the ground, hollowing those abs up and in. And what we're gonna do is lower our right arm so the balls will go right, and lower our left leg so the balls will go left. And now you're gonna switch and the balls will go the other side. Oh yes, we're having fun now. And switch, and switch. Nice, I would lower your legs a little tiny bit, switch and switch. Good, I'm gonna pull this back center. Switch, and good. You go at whatever tempo you want, what feels good and fun, and I will keep counting. Let's do four more of these. And you can breathe just gently or you can exhale after each time you switch. Three more. We doing okay? Yep. Two more. Oh, Woo! A little bit there. Party is happening. There go. Party has started. One more. Perfect. And bring it center and rest. You can go back into child's pose. So how was that? Good. Did you enjoy that as I much did, as yeah. my students have I enjoyed it? <laughs> I don't know about that. 
Nice. All right, Derek, we're going to do a fancy sideline clam with your arm in the active motion bar. So I'm going to move the active motion bar over here out of the way and you can grab the other one in your hand and sh yep, put it right on your shin. All right. This is fancy and it takes a couple times to kind of get it going. We're going to have a goal of eight and see how we do. All right. So we are going to keep our hips down at first. You're going to clam your uh, top leg, bend the arm through and straighten it in front of you. Keep the hips down for the first set, yep. And then you're gonna lower the leg, lift the hips, and then straighten the arm outside. Fabulous, now bring your head back, open your chest, and lower the hips as the leg goes up. Nice, and lift the hips as the arms go out. Perfect. And three. I'm going to make it even more exciting. Try not to rock this hip back. You knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Yes. Are we having fun now? Yes. Five. This is another one I'd like to see with 18 pounds. Six. Let's do two more. Seven, and it's also really great for that underneath shoulder girdle stabilizers. And eight, and lower down. Now, I have a fabulous stretch I'm gonna teach you. Okay. So, you can just come up with your legs either like this or this, okay. and then grab the bar over here okay. on your side, and I think it feels fabulous. So I'll help you get into there, okay. and then the bar can go uh, down and lift it all the way up, uh, but keep. So we're gonna go like this way. Oh, I see. Perfect, perfect. And then okay. if you can, you're gonna reach oh, over and get a little side stretch and stretch. Yes, and you can push it side. We get that nice underneath side stretch in there, which should feel good after doing all of those up and downs. Perfect. Stay as long as you like, and then when you're ready, we can flip on over to the other side and see if we can accomplish this over there. You didn't know you'd be dancing today, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're going to have the bar at your shin and in your hand. And so the hip will stay down and you're going to clam the leg up and push the arm down in front of you. So the arm goes, uh, yep. So the knee is going to come upside and then the arm will go out in front of you over there. Pull down. Keep the leg up and then pull the bar in front of you. There we go. And now you're going to lower the leg, lift the hips and push the bar out and bring your head, open your chest. Yes, perfect. Reach it out. Three. Do you feel it in your underneath side at all? I do, yes. Mostly in my kind of glute medius. Yes. Of the underneath or also the top? Both, yeah, maybe a little more underneath. Yeah, that was kind of the idea was that this is definitely my problem area. So I was thinking about getting the outsides of the hips, the glute medius, and then also the lateral rotators a little bit. One more time with the smile. Open that chest and reach. Beautiful. Rest, come up, put that bar down and you can reach up and do your nice stretch side. So knees come in, and so this is mermaid stretch side with the active motion bar, or side lat stretch, or something like that. Fantastic. All right, I have another side lying one for you. Perfect. All right, scooch back, and I'm gonna come down and show it. Okay. This one is not nearly as complicated. There is still a little bit of, um, coordination, but not as much as that first one. Okay. All right, so, and these you've also, I think, done before. So you'll have your bottom leg bent, the top leg is slightly in front of you, and we're gonna rest it on there, 
and you're gonna go all the way down. Keep your underneath waist lifted and the hand is out in front and then you're gonna lift it in line. Okay, we're gonna keep your hand still at first and you'll lift the leg. Then we're gonna do a little rotator cuff. Then we're gonna pull it back down. Then we're gonna lower the leg. We'll do about eight of these. Lift and open and close and down. Then we'll lift and do 10 fabulous rotators. Two and down. All righty. Okay. Does it sound like a party? Yes. All right. I will put this here and shift out of your way. So lie down. And I liked uh, at this level to have the bottom leg bent in front at 90 degrees. Yeah and then that leg out. And then you can lay all the way down if you can on your hand, if that's okay. Your shoulders may be a little broad for this, but you can pull your left hand back and put it by your ear. So bend your elbow slightly forward. Uh, so, yes. And now let's bring your head back a little bit to me and our waist up and you're gonna keep the hips stacked. Fantastic. And I'm also going to have you take this leg a little more forward. So bring this foot all the way at 90. Keep going, going, going. Perfect. All right. Now you'll start with your hand. Lift it just a little bit here. And let's have a little space between your elbow and your waist so that the rotator cuff has enough angle to activate. Yep. And we're going to lift the leg up a tiny bit and push your right hip slightly more forward. And I will be the hip police so that we don't go using our hip flexors. Okay. Lucky you. Okay, so you're gonna lift the leg and let the balls roll to your hand. Good. And then you're gonna do rotator cuff, open that arm. And then put the arm back down. And then put the leg down, but keep it not to touch the mat all the way. Yeah. And lift and open and close and bring it down and lift open close and down this is about four yep you can keep going at your own tempo and i'll just call out some things that sometimes happen but you're not doing any of them but sometimes people the uh end will roll off the heel and so all you have to do is turn your heel to the sky a little bit more and it'll keep it from rolling off. This is seven. Very nice. And lift our waist a little more for fun. Yes. One more. Lift. We doing okay? Yep. Open. Close. And down. Now we'll do just open and close the elbow. Is your, we're doing okay? Yep. Okay, lift that leg up side. Keep it right there. And now just open to the sky and then bring it down. And open and down. And three. And down. And four. And down. It'll start to slip just a little bit. Oh, is it coming off? Yeah, it's okay though. Yeah. That's what you said happens often, right? Yes, especially, actually especially on the rotator cuff because we're thinking about our arm and then our leg starts going in its own personality sometimes. Yeah. So you, all you do is you just big toe towards the ground and heel to the sky and then that generally takes care of it. Two more. Nine. Two more with a smile and happy thoughts. <laughs> I'd be crying by now. Ten. Good. Rest. All right, how did that feel for you? Really good, definitely some deep activation. <laughs> wow. In there. Definitely. See, and yeah. a lot of times my ladies, they actually feel it more in their shoulders, in their shoulders yeah. than they do, so. But you don't have that issue. All right, let's do a little stretch. Uh, put the bar out in front a little bit, lay on your back, and we'll do figure four stretch. So you're gonna bring your right ankle over your left knee, and then bend the knees into your chest, both legs in, and then you can grab on you. And you can either put the right hand through the puka and brush off your sand. Yeah, I was gonna say I should give yeah. that a little brush first. It's exfoliating. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get for working out at the beach. Yes. 
Does that feel okay? Yes. And then you can let your head fall and just rest there a second and stay as long as you like. Breathe gently. And when you're ready, we'll do the other side. But take a moment because sometimes just holding that up there is really a lot. Fabulous. Other, Other side, side right. please. That was great. And there were no tears. When I do those, there are tears. Yeah. There's definitely tears. I might have been holding back just so I don't look too. Oh, you don't want to outshine me. Got it. Okay. Okay, lie down. Perfect. Lift the waist. And we're going to bring this bottom leg a, a heel under the knee, so about 90 degrees. And our shoulders are down, and we're happy. We're getting our side tan now. Yep. All right. Go ahead, and you're going to lift the leg, and then the elbow will have that little space, and then the hand will be down. And then, yep, we open, and then we close, and then we lower the leg, and the balls go to the feet. Perfect. And balls to the hands and to the feet and back to the hand and then lower the foot good and now here comes your favorite spotter oh, yeah. see i'm your best friend already <laughs> four we're halfway there we're going to do eight of these and lower nice you're doing fabulous lift lower and lower Good. Foot and hand and hand and foot. Good. Foot and hand and hand. Turn that heel to the sky a little bit, I think. There you go. Two more. Foot and hand and hand and foot. One more if we've got it. Foot, hand, hand, and rest a second. Okay. Doing okay? Yep. All right, we're going to go up and open and close our door about 10 times. Okay. All right. Uh, I just have a quick question. Yeah. So my, uh, I have some tight lats, and so I find sometimes my upper body starting to elevate off of the the mat when I'm right here. Like for example, when I was lifting, I felt, felt myself wanting to go like this to kind yes. of crack. So what's maybe a good point for pointer for some a tight individual like Yeah, me? there's a couple things. Um, in the studio, I'd have pillows oh, and I would yeah. actually put two pillows under your head to lift it up. So if you're at home and you have some pillows, you can put it under there and then that'll make some space. If not, you can actually lift your head and then rest your hand, your head on your hand. Do oh, you think that would help? That would be, that would, yeah. Perfect. Yep. So the one thing that that makes it difficult to do is allowing your waist to stay up. Oh, so yes. then, but you can still, it's better than feeling all jammed up. And if you, you know, we don't have pillows right now. So yep. it's better to do this okay. than it is um, to not. But otherwise I would put pillows under your head and then we'd lift your waist and you'd yep. feel like Makes you, sense. We're relaxing yeah, while moving great. your leg, but this Very we'll good. do. We'll do this way because I we don't want to torture you. I mean, we do want to torture you, <laughs> yeah. but as comfortably as humanly possible. Okay. All right, perfect. So we'll go this way, okay. and now you're going to go ahead, lift that left leg, nice, and bring it back tiny bit to me. Perfect. And now you're going to open close. And another thing for here, since you lifted up, bring your elbow a little more in front of you. There you go. Two. Nice. How's that? Good. And it feels much better. Yes. Yep. So we can go ahead, look forward, and what you can think of is still your underneath waist working and then your chest opening, um, but then you don't have that tension in there, yeah? Yes. Excellent. That's the key to success. Modify for whatever your student needs. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And 10. Very good. Lower down. Rest. We can go into that stretch. Did you feel it in your arm that time or still in your hip? Still deep in the hip. Perfect. Yep. All right. 
I think too, just holding it up at the isometric contraction yes. with the leg is yes. another reason why. Yeah. So, uh, ankle over the knee, pull it in, grab on, let that head rest, let those shoulders slide down, and take a couple moments to breathe here. we finish up with some push-ups. Okay, let's do it. All right, so let's show the people at home how they can possibly get into this thing okay. on their own. So we're going to go on all fours. We're going to grab your active motion bar and put it in between your ankles. And then you're going to reach up and you want it up a little bit on towards your head, but still down by the tailbone. And I will be here to help if we need help. Yep, yeah, that should be good. Good, how are we? Good. All right. Let's try. How's this? Good, yeah. All right, try, tuck the, and reach those toes back. It's a perfect balance here. And you can do legs together or a little bit apart, whatever you feel better with. And we're gonna go ahead and bend our elbows three times and then press up, down, two, three, and we push it up. 10, down, two, three, nine and the idea is that the active motion bar stays on eight and that the head stays touching the back of the active motion bar seven six and down two three five down two three bring your head back a little bit four oh that's the fun part three he's almost there two down two three and he's made it very good go ahead put the knees down and if you can oh <laughs> if you can you grab it otherwise yeah. you let it slide off onto the floor and disturb <laughs> the neighbors downstairs excellent fabulous all right let's go onto your back and do some hamstring stretches okay. i like having the active motion bar for push-ups either in short lever plank or long lever plank because it really helps people keep the alignment of yeah. the head the shoulders yeah and you the really hips. become aware of it right yeah. away right if anything disconnects yep. you can immediately recognize it yeah absolutely and it adds a little bit of weight in a way yep. that you yep, wouldn't definitely. normally get yep that's good um, for for people who don't um have a partner then i think might be helpful so you want to have about a foot of the bar coming off the top of your body yeah right? what I've found is if you start with the bar uh, maybe just a little bit below your tailbone yep. and then the rest on the way up yep. but you can kind of feel it after you do it a couple times but you do want the bar a little bit over yep. your head and then if it does slide a little bit it's not that big of a deal okay. right. or you can cheat and get little grippers <laughs> and put them there so that they stay there all right, we are going to stretch. You have done a fabulous job and you deserve your stretching. So let's go ahead and bring one leg up to the sky and you're going, yeah, the other leg can go straight and then you're gonna put the bar behind your leg and you can slide the bar up or down depending on how much flexibility you have. And you can do this, yep, grab onto the white marks so that you make sure you're equidistance in your arms. And you can do this either in neutral pelvis or imprint and you're gonna stay and breathe. And I'm sure it feels fabulous having the sun shining oh, down on okay, you. And let's flex your foot. And that will be a little bit more exciting. And point the toe. And flex the foot. And point the toe. Give your foot a little circle around if you can, one direction a few times. And then when you're ready, you can do the other direction with that foot. And then when you're ready, you can slide on over to the other side. Good, bring 
bringing that leg up. So for people who are less flexible, having it anywhere against the back of the yeah, leg is okay. Yeah, just a little bit of support okay. to help hold it up. And you can also do it if it's really hard to straighten the leg. You can keep the leg stri uh, bent a little okay. bit and sometimes you'll still feel the stretch depending on how tight people okay. are. Absolutely. Yeah, and then having that bottom leg with a little bit of pressure down, it'll help to open up the hip flexors yeah. as well. And it's just one of those nice little things. You've got the bar right there. Might as well use it to yeah. give yourself a little leverage. Yeah, definitely. It feels good. Good. And then it might give your arms a little bit of workout too while you're holding yeah. it up there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Flex the foot. And then point your toes. And flex the foot. And then go for your circles. A few times each direction, whatever feels good for you. Good. And then when you're ready, you can bring the bar down and lay it beside you and just let those legs go long for a moment. And we can think back to when we arrived, what we felt like when we started out. And then just go through your body and take a little inventory and see how things have changed. And let the sunshine soak right into you. And let's take one last breath together. A nice big inhale. And a nice big exhale. Made it! Awesome. Wow, thank you so good. much for joining yeah, me. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. That was great work, definitely. Fabulous. Now tell us where can we buy one of these darn bars? Yeah, well, if you are in Hawaii um, at Upside Down Pilates, right? Yep, we've, we've got, got them there ready to go. Give me a buzz. Great. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not in Hawaii, then uh, you can visit the Active Motion Bar website, which is activemotionbar.com. We have uh, uh, we sell our, our products in the mainland U.S. as well, obviously, and then we have distributors all over the world. So if you're in Asia or Europe or the Middle East or Australia or wherever, um, we are fortunate enough now to have a large distribution network. And uh, not only are the Pilates instructors using active motion bars, which is uh, that's very important and, and it's a very common area where they use, but also athletic teams, um, sports professionals, and other uh, fitness enthusiasts as well all are benefiting because what we're trying to teach at its core is well is is core strength and uh, <laughs> mind muscle awareness and all these great things that everyone needs. Yeah, so. and I've been seeing a lot of dancers getting into starting to use them as well as physical therapy clinics. I think it it would be really really wonderful thing to have in there as well. Yeah, yeah, all very common areas of use. Yeah, great. Cool. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, you can visit me online at www.upsidedownpilates.com or you can vi visit Derek online at www.activemotionbar.com and we look forward to seeing you next time. Aloha!